Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are going to be talking about my favourites of 2020, skincare, makeup and there's even an honourable mention at the end. I have already filmed if I could only keep 10 palettes I got in 2020 so palettes will not be included in this, the eyeshadow palettes. So if you want to see what my 2020 favourites are then just keep on watching. Okay, so first up um, is actually a makeup remover and this is the Made by Sunday Magic Eraser. Mine's a little bit dirty because it gets used every time I take my makeup off. All you do is add water and it removes it. I do have a video trying this out. I will link it up here if I remember. Um, but this, I love it absolutely love it it is it takes off all of my makeup mascara the lot the only thing it doesn't remove is um waterproof mascara that's the only thing i've found so far other than that it is fantastic so yeah when it's dirty i just chuck it in the washing machine and we're ready to go again so yeah i had to mention that because that is something i use very often um i will have everything listed in the description box below um, but yeah, this is the Magic Razor from Made by Sunday. And next we have a brush cleaner. Now, this I've only recently discovered, um, but it is an absolute favourite. It's, oh, it has changed the way I clean my brushes. It has just reduced the time by, you wouldn't believe how much. And this is the ISO Clean Professional Brush Cleaner. So yeah, you just... Uh, Pop a little bit in the drip tray, wiggle your brush around in it, wiggle the brush around on a paper towel or microfiber cloth and your brush is clean and in 60 seconds it's dry and ready to use again. So this has really been a game changer for me. I absolutely love this, I had to mention it. So the next up is skincare and I believe I only have one item in this and that is the Revolution 10% Niacinamide and 1% Zinc. My skin has cleared up so much since I've been using this. Um, it's the only thing I've changed, so I would say <laughs> this is really, really helping. I had heard that niacinamide is really, really good for acne prone skin anyway, and I think this is fantastic. So that's uh, gotta be my 2020 favorites. So now we are on to makeup. So I'm just gonna do it in order from base to eyes however we want to go so the first up is for primers I actually have two favorite primers the first one which I've been using for a lot longer is the Barry M pixie skin blurring beauty elixir I just find that my makeup sits really nicely on top of it 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 just feels soothing it's a really really nice primer I really enjoy it so that had to be in my favorites However, the next one I'm about to talk about has just become an absolute favourite. I haven't had it for as long, but I reach for it all the time. And that is the Catrice Tensational Primer. This is amazing. Just It makes my skin just look really glowy and healthy and kind of blurs a little bit. It just it's so beautiful and then when you put your foundation on on top the glow kind of comes through a bit so you don't look so flat i love this all of my foundations work beautifully on top of this so i have to put this in my 2020 favorites so for foundations i have two again the first is a, a complete favorite i've been using it for a while i use it a lot i absolutely love it that is the catrice hd liquid coverage this is such a beautiful foundation it it lasts all day i have really oily skin and i quite often find that foundations break up throughout the day on my skin it doesn't on this it doesn't completely stop the oils coming through but towards the end of the day if they're coming through it's a very natural it doesn't break up the foundation it still looks beautiful so i, I highly recommend this i really enjoy that foundation and the next up is one that's relatively new to me, but I really love the finish. I'm actually wearing it. And that is the Too Faced Born This Way. It is absolutely beautiful. Again, it lasts all down the face, doesn't break up. 
it doesn't stop moles coming through but it doesn't break up and it looks really beautiful just looks like skin so i had to mention this one too because it is another favorite and for concealer again two so the first one i've had for longer i had to mention is the catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer i really love this one the only thing I will say is it does have a smell. So if you don't like your products to smell, then you won't like it probably. However, I love the smell of it. Absolutely love it. And it is beautiful. It works really well on my oily skin. So the next one is another Catrice favourite. It is the True Skin High Cover Concealer. This one's newer to me. However, I use it a lot. I reach for it a lot. It is so beautiful. Again, the same with the last one. If you don't like your products to have a scent, then you probably won't like it. However, I love the scent and I love how it sits on the skin. This is a really, really nice one for under the eyes. I find it, I don't get the creasing under my eyes and uh, it just looks beautiful. So there are the two concealers and both from Catrice. So next up for powders, again, I have two. The first one is from Catrice. So Catrice was doing well in 2020 and it is the New Delusion Loose Powder Transparent Matte. This is beautiful. I've used it over top of various foundations. It's really finely milled. It doesn't look cakey. I find that I don't, it doesn't crease up under my eyes. I do only use a tiny bit to set the concealer under my eyes, but I find that it is absolutely beautiful. It is a really, really lovely powder. So yeah, this one is a, a powder that I would recommend. I really like it. And obviously my skin is aging. I'm 40 this year now. So, uh, and I recommend that one. So let's stop talking about age. The next one I have is from Nabla and it is the Close Up Baking and Setting Powder. I have completely fallen in love with this powder. It is another really finely milled, just really soft powder. I find it blurs my skin. It blurs imperfections and it's just so beautiful. So this is a powder that I would definitely want to replace when I run out. I absolutely love it. It is such a beautiful powder. So yeah, that's powders. Where are we next? Oh, I should have done this before the powders. Um, but a favourite contour I have, cream contour, is the So Su Contour Stick in the shade Cool. This is... This is beautiful. It's my first time trying cream contour, but I love this. The shade is perfect for my skin tone. Um, I'm a kind of light medium, light to medium, and I kind of vary in that range from summer to winter. Um, but I find this absolutely gorgeous. I do believe it comes in a warm as well but the cool one is my recommendation. I love it. So that had to make my 2020 favorites, even though I haven't been using it for very long, it has very fast become a favorite. And for powder contour, it actually is the contour in the Roxy Roxaurus contour and highlight palette with Revolution. And it is this contour shade here. As you can see, I've hit pan, I've used it so, so much. I really love it and it's a, it's a very nice little palette. I only really use um, the two contour shades up there. I use this a bit, oh, I use this one a bit for bronzing sometimes. Um, I don't very often go into the highlights. They're, they're nice, they're, but I have others that I favor more, but mainly for the contour powders in this palette I love it so that had to go into my favorites so next up we are on blushes and if you watch my channel you will definitely guess I have three favorite blushes all from the same brand which is a very new UK indie brand and that is Pout and Shout and th these blushes are amazing I've got three and I have another three on the way so you've got Chatty Cathy which is this gorgeous color here. I, I love these. 
Typhoid Mary, and she is uh, this colour. They are very, very pigmented. They blend beautifully. They last all day. I love them. And then we have Juicy Lucy, and, and she looks like this. So yeah, I can highly recommend the blushes from Pout and Shout. They are by far my favourite blushes of 2020. Possibly my favourite blushes of all time. I cannot recommend them enough. I love them. She also does highlighters. So that brings us on to the next section, which is highlighters. And I have two from Pout and Shout. So I have the, the, the Happy Glow Lucky highlighters first one I have is Lucky Dice and that is a really gorgeous kind of purple violety purple it's beautiful and the other one I have is the Lucky Black Cats and this one is a really icy one but I really enjoy those highlighters and um, the next highlighters I would say are possibly my favorite of the year and they are from Makeup by Lisa. And you will have seen this one used so many times if you're not new to my channel. This is the shade Pearl. I am in love with this highlighter. It is so, so beautiful. It just melts into the skin. I don't find it leaves a cast. This colour in particular, it kind of shifts violet blue. It is absolutely gorgeous i use it quite a lot for an inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight with uh, a lot of makeup looks actually i really really enjoy this and then today in the look that i'm wearing which uh this look should be up in the next couple of days um but i used the pink sunshine from makeup by lisa and this one is a really like kind of cool pink it is absolutely gorgeous i have it on first time i've used it but it does appear to be the same formula as the pearl highlighter which is a, an absolute favorite so i thought i'd mention that along with that one and then four eyeliners firstly the ones i use in my waterline are the essence long lasting eye pencils i have a few shades this one is go green it's my favorite but all of them work the same. They last for hours and I love the colours. So yeah, I highly recommend them. I really enjoy them. And then next up for eyeliners, um, I have two black pen eyeliners. Um, there's a difference between them, which you will see. First one is from Lois Cosmetics. It's the Fine Style Eyeliner Pen in black. I love this. I now want this in the other colours because I know there's a few shades. <laughs> I got the black one, but I really, really enjoy it. So yes, we definitely want to get more shades in this. So it's another one that I do recommend. And then the other black eyeliner I have is from Artitude Cosmetics. This one is the Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one. I am wearing it today where I'm wearing both the Lois Cosmetics eyeliner and then where I wanted to stick my lashes down, I've used the Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive and then stuck my lashes on. I love this, it's a game changer. Um, if you don't like faffing around with glue, you find it difficult, this would be your best friend. You literally put it on, you can use it like as the full eyeliner, but I don't want to waste the product. So I use a black eyeliner and then I just go over where I want to stick my lashes down. And yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite finds of 2020. I love this so much. So yeah, highly recommend that one. Where are we at now? Mascara. So I only have one mascara in my favourites of 2020 and that is the Barry M That's How I Roll. This, I'm not big on mascara because obviously I stick false lashes on. However, I do find that if I do want a day where I just want mascara, this one does actually do something to my lashes. It does curl them a bit. I do use um, eyelash curlers before using any mascara anyway because my lashes are, well they do what they want. Um, but this I find does curl them, it does hold the curl, it's very black, it lengthens, it does everything you want it to do. So I really, really enjoy this one. So 
I had to put it in the 2020 favourites because it's the only mascara I really use. I don't very often use any others. I do, however, have a waterproof mascara. So if I wanted a waterproof mascara, say I knew I was going somewhere where I was going to cry a lot, I couldn't think of anything else to say. I would use the Sport Stamina Mascara from Sport FX. It's the only waterproof mascara I own. It did actually do something to my lashes. So yeah, if I, uh, if I knew I was going to be crying a lot, this is what I'd use. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, right, lashes. So onto lashes, there are two brands of lash. Um, I'm going to go with the brands rather than the styles because I like quite a few of the styles from both. Um, so the first one is Makeup by Lisa. I love these lashes. They are so easy to use, beautiful. This particular style, I believe, is Nivea. But don't quote me on that because I've removed the sticker. The Raven lashes are my favourite. These are a slightly more daytime appropriate lash, maybe, for your average person or for a lot of people. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I really love the Makeup by Lisa lashes and can recommend them. Also, Artitude Cosmetics lashes. I am wearing the Rebel lashes from Artitude Cosmetics today. I love these. Again, very easy to use they're beautiful I've worn these this particular pair I've worn quite a few times and they are still going strong so yes I highly recommend both the lashes from Makeup by Lisa and Artitude Cosmetics for brows I've been using the Revolution brow pomade however I would have put it in my 2020 favorites but I find that it dries out look at it it just dries out really quickly and I'm struggling to get it to work anymore so I have picked up a new um, brow pomade to try in 2021 so we'll see how that goes so lastly we have lip products I am first going to go with glosses now for clear gloss the one that I have absolutely fallen in love with it's really silky not sticky at all and that is the makeup by Lisa I think it's uh, crystal I love this this is such a just a really beautiful shiny glossy gloss that's really silky so this generally it's a bit messed up because it lives in my handbag but I love it so yeah I can recommend that I know that Lisa does do these in other shades I haven't tried them this is the only lip gloss I've tried but I love it so yeah, would definitely recommend that. The other lip gloss um, is a coloured one and it is the shade Salted Caramel from I Heart Revolution. I love this gloss. I, I love the smell of it. The colour is perfect. It's my perfect nude gloss. Um, it wears really nice. It's not sticky. The formula is lovely. I really, really enjoy this. So yeah, that's the I Heart Revolution one. And now on to... We'll go with bullet lipsticks next so with um the lipsticks i'm not going by color i'm just going by formula so for bullet lipsticks my absolute favorite formula this year has been the melt bullet lipsticks these last better than any bullet lipsticks i've ever used they're comfortable to wear the shade range is beautiful i really really absolutely love these they're just um, funnily enough, I've actually picked up my favourite shade, which is Tomboy, which it comes out like a real army green on me. I love it. So yeah, highly recommend these. If you want a bullet lipstick that lasts well on your lips, um, this is a really good one. Brilliant formula. And then next up, we have Liquid Lips. I have two formulas that I have to mention um, because this year I've fallen in love with both formulas the first is the lime crime matte velveteens um, I actually have the shade cashmere on today um, these I love I have them in a few shades and I've not found one I don't like yet so I love the formula I just find they last beautifully on the lips I can eat drink and they're still there they're still going strong so I these are a firm favourite of 2020. And 
The other liquid lipstick formula that I have is the Makeup by Lisa liquid lipstick formula. This one stays put all day, goes on beautifully, it's really comfortable. I have a couple of shades. This is Burlesque. Um, I recommend these a lot. They're a really comfortable formula that lasts really well. I, I had to scrub this off my lips at the end of the day because it it stuck that well. Um, yeah, I really recommend these. They are beautiful. I missed eye primers. Wow. So, for eyeshadow primers, I have an eyeshadow primer and a, a glitter primer. So, the eyeshadow primer that I've completely fallen in love with this year is the ABH eye primer, Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I love this. I have a backup now because I love it that much. I've used it today. I just find that all of my eyeshadows blend so beautifully on top of it. They really pop. It's it's just beautiful. I love it. I didn't think I could love an eye primer like I do. So yes, love this. And the glitter primer is the NYX glitter primer. I use this under all my shimmers to make them pop. I use it obviously under glitter. Um, this is just beautiful. I really love this. I used to use the e.l.f. one, but as soon as I tried this, I kind of palmed that off to my daughter. So this I highly recommend. It makes it makes your shimmers really pop, really holds them on. It is it's brilliant. I love that. So yes, now we are on to our honourable mention um, because it is an indie brand and it's one that I love supporting. It is run by a really lovely girl called Amy and you will have seen um, a lot of this jewellery in my videos. These ones are new to me, I haven't worn these yet but I have here the uh, star earrings and the little gummy bear necklace. I have the earrings um, of these gummy bears so I've got the necklace to match um, she does a lot of kind of quirky fun jewelry but also some really pretty jewelry um, this necklace here I love this it's so cute it's just a really beautiful necklace and um, she can do them in different chain lengths and also I wanted to show you these are another favorite of mine from Amy's accessories and that is these here the star, dangly star earrings I love them they're so cute um yes yeah, so I definitely wanted to mention Amy's accessories because more often than not if I'm wearing earrings and a necklace it's going to be from Amy's accessories I love her I love supporting your smaller indie brands um because you get to know the person behind the brand. You know that they're putting their heart and soul into it. It is their life. They really care about their products, their customers. Amy is no exception. She is an absolute sweetheart. So yes, if you are looking for jewellery, I will list Amy's details in the description box below also for you to check out. So that was my 2020 favourites. Let me know what yours are in the comments section below. Do you agree with any of mine? Do you disagree? Let me know why, if you do. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. It really helps me out. And if you're not subscribed already, then I hope you'll consider subscribing, sticking around. I'm a lover of all things makeup, but especially I love indie brands and I love colourful makeup. So if that's something that you enjoy, then I think you'll enjoy my channel. Um, yeah, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you are having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.